أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولنبلونكم بشيء من الخوف والجوع ونقص من الأم ونقص من الأموال والأنفس والثمرات in living rooms around the world we needed to be together to show that we are together and united we gather in such a moment of heartbreak for all of us here in Newtown وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُهْتَدُونَ These are the words of the Apostle Paul as he writes to the church at Rome. Scripture tells us do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, inwardly we are being renewed day by day. In all the world's religions, so many of them represented here today, start with a simple question. Why are we here? What gives our life meaning? What gives our acts purpose? There's only one thing we can be sure of, and that is the love that we have for our children, for our families, for each other. Let the little children come to me, Jesus said, and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. God has called them all home. Lord God, we call you by many names. Master of mercy. Elohim Adonai. Jesus. Great Spirit. Our God. Higher power. Holy God. Divine One. Remember all of their worthy and righteous deeds that they performed in the land of the living. We know that the children who were lost in this tragedy first belonged to you before they belonged to us. The Quran, Islam's revealed text, tells us that God's mercy and compassion are without limit and always available for those who ask. This is a um, part of the sacred text from the Baha'i faith. One who knoweth and understandeth is assured that the child hath not been lost, but rather hath stepped from this world into another, and you will find them in the divine realm. There is no death, just transformation. We ask God to grant those lost 
a special place in paradise. Be thou not disconsolate. Do not languish. Do not sigh. Neither wail nor weep. For agitation and mourning deeply affect the soul, their soul, in the divine realm. Lament not, O mother and father, and be not grieved. I am not of the lost, nor have I been obliterated and destroyed. I have shaken off the mortal form and have raised my banner in this spiritual world. And when the flowers start to come out of the ground, and when they rise up, I will know that we are in touch with those that we have lost in the last few days. In the Quran, God also says, Give glad tidings to those who endure with patience, who, when afflicted with calamity, say, We belong to God, and to Him we shall return. Such are the people on whom there are blessings and mercy from God. But however we address you, you are always father and mother to us all. We needed to be together to show that we are together. We gather to grieve together, to care for one another, to pray and embrace. We wanted to offer our voices in the form of words from our sacred texts. We Congregationalist UCCers know that we have Muslim brothers and sisters ready to offer prayers of comfort and acts of compassion. And let us seek the comfort of our various faiths. And let us unite our hearts in prayer. For we pray all of this in the name of your love, as we all say, Amen. So let us all, of every faith, of every background, pray for God's comfort. Their Savior and ours. Blessed be our God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. We invite you to join with us in Psalm 23 in whatever way you know it in your heart. Doesn't have to be the words that we're offering here. Now a final blessing of hope through faith in Jesus Christ. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Remember all of their worthy and righteous deeds that they performed in the land of the living. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. There is no death, just transformation. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In the presence of you, their Savior and ours. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Lord God, we call you by many names, great spirit, higher power, divine one. You are always father and mother to us all. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Neither wail nor weep, for agitation and mourning deeply affect the soul, their soul, in the divine realm. I have shaken off the mortal form and have raised my banner in this spiritual world. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. God's mercy and compassion are without limit and always available 
for those who ask. We ask God to grant those lost a special place in paradise. In the Quran, God also says, Give glad tidings to those who endure with patience. Such are the people on whom there are blessings and mercy from God. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We bring to you 20 new stars in the heavens, 20 new saints, 20 new angels. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.